hey, you guys, want to see a build that rocks? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Uncle Me is back, but instead of having too much to drink and then openly sobbing at Fuddruckers, I've brought you a brand new build, this time created by the wonderful and talented Supertolic, I hope I pronounced that right, on the Grim Dawn forums, who was kind enough to share his awesome Vitality Devastation Spellbinder build, which he dubbed Sonya the Devastator. Without any further ado, let's ado the damn thing. This build uses a pure Vitality Devastation which allows us to go all in on bonus vitality damage and resistance reduction instead of having a split focus between fire and aether. Sonya also has impressive durability from juggling Mirror and Mark of Torment and falling back on the flat 26% absorption from Maven's Sphere while those two are on cooldown. With a good enough player, Sonya the Devastator can clear every super boss in the game lickety split and boast some incredible results from the Shattered Realms. For anyone who's sick of farming for rare items, you'll be pleased to know that this build only utilizes one, which is the Gaze of Ungoliax, an amulet that has a host of great benefits for this build, including vitality resistance reduction on Ill Omen, bonus flat vitality damage and duration to devastation, and of course, 100% damage conversion to vitality damage on devastation. The other key part to this item build is the four piece diviner set, which all in all gives Ill Omen another 10% resistance reduction, as well as a 70 point defense ability shred while lowering the cooldown of devastation and tightening its impact area, increasing its damage potential. We shore up the rest of the build with pieces of gear that will provide further vitality resistance reduction, including the dagger, the mythical fang of Cathan, and the ring, mythical signet of the fallen, both of which have a proc that can reduce vitality resistance by 15%, and the epic ring, mythical curse bearer, which will lower vitality resistance by another 10%. For devotions, we focus on things that fall in line with our game plan, like increasing vitality damage, reducing vitality resistance, and last but not least, staying alive. Ratash the Veil Warden gives us a massively powerful 25% vitality resistance reduction, and Dying God can boost our vitality damage by almost 400% on top of 10% total speed and 18% critical damage. Scales of Volcana and Bat are powerful tools that nabs our build very necessary sources of sustain, while Solemn Watcher and Two Points in Obelisk of here gets our defensive ability up to that 2900 to 3000 sweet spot. In the Arcanist Tree, we go all the way to the end, so we can pick up both Devastation and Star Pact. Star Pact is the ideal exclusive skill for this build, despite the fact that we cannot utilize cold or lightning damage. Cooldown reduction is far and away the most important stat to have, as it allows us to reposition our Devastation on the fly and gives us maximum uptime on Mirror and Mark of Torment. We of course pick up and max out powerful buffs like Inner Focus, Overload, Elemental Balance, and Fabric of Reality, and we put a single point into both Arcane Will and Mental Alacrity. A maxed out Mirror of Eroticies is the backbone of our defenses, and Maven's Sphere of Protection with the Conversion node gives us a baseline tankiness in between cooldowns and grants us a healthy dose of stun resistance. Meanwhile, Nullification is a singularly powerful utility spell capable of removing negative debuffs from our character while stripping away buffs from our enemies. In the Necromancer tree, we again use all 50 points to get to the end of the tree to pick up Reap Spirit, which is a decent source of single target damage, but more importantly, a consistent source of resistance reduction. Mark of Torment is the other side of the defensive coin, granting us a massive 51% damage reduction for 5.1 seconds, which, when combined with that 26% damage reduction from Mavens, will be nearly unkillable while we wait for the mere cooldown to finish. Spectral Binding gives us a massive source of flat health and offensive ability, while Spectral Wrath will continuously shred a massive 44% vitality resistance while peppering in vitality damage in a huge area every half second. Ill Omen not only shreds vitality resistance and defensive ability thanks to our items, but also reduces the enemy's damage dealt for the duration. The most important aspect of playing this build properly is cooldown awareness. You won't be able to stand and tank the strongest enemies in the game without your Mirror or Mark of Torment at the ready, so at all times know how long until you can use either of those abilities and kite when necessary. Devastation has an 8 second cooldown. So if you place it in a not so great spot, you essentially have 8 seconds where you can't deal damage, so be judicial about how you use it. 
Ill Omen is an important source of resistance reduction, so make sure it's always spreading through big packs of enemies. Thaleel's Witch Flame is another 10% vitality resistance reduction. Thaleel's Witch Flame is another 10% vitality resistance reduction, but it's only really necessary to use against strong enemies. After you layer in all of your important spells, you can pepper your enemies with Reap Spirit for chip damage. The build itself is absurdly powerful, capable of clearing all content and then some, even going as far as wiping the floor with a shard 110 on Shattered Realms. It's pretty premature to say this, but it's possible that this might be one of the strongest new builds that come out of patch 1170, and possibly one of the strongest builds in the game period. The damage dealing potential is astronomical, and the survivability is bonkers. The only caveat is that the build can be a little tricky to pilot properly, but with a little bit of practice, this build pays off in dividends. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed this special build from Supertolic, and thank you again to Supertolic for sharing this with me. If you want to help the channel grow and make more content, then pretend you're an eight year old alone in an elevator and just hit every button. Like, comment, subscribe, and ringling my thing thing thing.